Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf, and welcome back to the channel. And we have made a pretty good bit of progress now, actually even enough to go ahead and move on to Frontierland. Um, you know, I've basically because we know in the in we know in the real Walt Disney World at the Frontierland and Adventureland, their backstages, their their buildings, um, essentially like share this spine right here. So, and then of course, you know, down here on at, kind of like at the entrance of Adventureland, um, the, the way these buildings kind of work their way over, kind of like where the new Club 33 is going to be, actually kind of ties into Liberty Square a little bit. But as far as our build goes, yeah, that whole spine that I'm talking about um, works out really well for splitting Adventureland over here. Yeah and Frontierland over here. Now, a couple little things did kind of get mixed up. Uh, you remember in Adventureland Part 2, we were talking about um, how my layout got a little messed up um, as far as like up here, uh, where Zanzibar Trading Company is, and then you kind of make the turn um, over to what would be the whole bazaar uh, type marketplace area, and um, the uh, island uh, refreshments here where you where you would get your little Dole Whips. Um, this would actually be the pass-through into Frontierland, yeah, into Frontierland, and that is where um, Country Bear Jamboree would actually sit. But the way my layout worked, and uh, and like I said, kind of uh, making this making this kind of central little uh, hub here, this spine a little too long, um, prob probably made the Skipper Canteen a little too long, uh, messed up on that a little bit, uh, just, it just kind of made it too big, um, everything just kind of got, yeah, it just really, it got, it got too long through here, so that little pass-through area, I've essentially, uh, made it just like a little backstage area down here with extra props and camera equipment and, uh, and you know, stuff like that, but nonetheless, a lot of you guys say, or I've been saying it is kind of cool that um, that, that it, I've kind of had to put my own little spin on it, um, especially as far as uh, kind of the turning the corner of the uh, of the whole Caribbean area back here um, kind of had to be changed a uh, little bit of it kind of had to be customized. And we've got our little uh, we've got our other little entrance here to Frontierland, and one thing I know, that tree, those trees are low, uh, one thing I know you guys probably noticed right when we first come into the map is I brought in, was actually able to import in some of Andre's smarts, uh, Splash Mountain, so yeah, I was brought in his track layout and, uh, and his little roof piece and some of his, his, his supports, and then kind of just went in and did all the terraforming around it, so we didn't end up having to skip Splash Mountain. So I thought that was pretty cool the way that um, the way that turned out and his model. So definitely big shout out to him, um, you know, just putting that on the workshop and uh, definitely by far one of the more advanced Splash Country uh, and believable um, Splash Country models that I saw on there. And that's kind of why I picked it. Um, just did an absolutely incredible job on that. And uh, yeah, so Frontier or Country Bear Jamboree is actually one of the first little buildings you uh, you kind of come to as you make your way out of the Caribbean area. And I've set it out here kind of on like its own little, uh, kind of like its own little peninsula. And you've got a little bridge that um, you can make your way over to it and see the show. Then we've got the Tall Tale Inn uh, connected to the town hall. Need to get a little bell and stuff up in there. That's a kind of some... Basically, what, I, what I'll say is the frontier land, um, these facades are kind of like, well, you know how I do. They're, they're kind of like the very early facades um, without a total a bunch of detail put in. And so once I get this main little area kind of fleshed out here, um, that's when I like to go back in and look at what can be added, what can make this look better, what can give that frontier feel. Um, we've got the Westward kind of company here with the Monsieur Fritz and the Pip Shot Water. And then, of course, you've got these little wooden walkways that kind of uh, make their way out uh, behind all of the Frontierland's main, little main area here and over into, uh, into um, 
this little splash country area because you know what has to go out here our little tom sawyer island so we've got to get that figured out um we've got the big uh paddle boat uh you know um kind of model we'll end up using out here and then um it's really the frontier land probably um, by the next time you see it, it will be mostly done with the exception of Big Thunder Mountain. So we kind of need to make the decision of do we try to recreate Big Thunder Mountain or should I do my own? I'm really kind of hitting at doing Big Thunder Mountain, but a lot of you guys are saying, man, all of this looks really, really cool. But we want to see you kind of put your own spin on this, too. So maybe I can do... I can do my own kind of uh, mine train ride over here, but like I said, not totally, not try to do a big Thunder Mountain recreation as more as um, kind of do my own little deal um, over here. And then, um, you know, once we get that kind of sealed up and, uh, and kind of headed off over there, then it is definitely time to start looking into Liberty Square. One of my buddies already has a really cool Hall of Presidents um, kind of built out that he said I could use. So that'll be really cool, kind of getting into those, uh, you know, colonial, uh, colonial American type builds um, over this way. And then, of course, we've got to get Fantasyland in here. I am definitely thinking about importing my Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and getting it a part of Fantasyland. And then, of course, uh, it goes without saying, now that we've got that people mover, I've got to make space out here for, um, for, for uh, Tomorrowland. So that, I think, will be really, really cool. I've, uh, I've done a lot of experimenting with the, uh, with the brickwork on Main Street. So it's a lot of like little going back and, um, and you know, just, just trying, different, uh, trying different layouts, you know. So none of this is set in stone right now. And um, yeah, so that is kind of what we're running with. Just uh, we're at that part where I'm testing different ideas, testing different theming. I haven't even really, you know, got to dive into the... Uh, haven't really looked at a lot of the World's Fair Pack pieces yet, other than that little review I did um, on some of the adventure, you know, over here at Adventureland, kind of putting down our little tables that we discovered and uh, and some of the plants and all that. So, yeah, that is that is kind of what I'm my main focus on right now is that uh, that transition from Adventureland to Frontierland, and we've also um, you notice over here on this little section. We've got uh, we've got most of the path work done and a lot of the foliage, and um, instead of going totally recreation with Jungle Cruise, um, I basically kind of it's when implied uh, maybe one of these days, like I said, we'll get in here and actually do a uh, a Jungle Cruise recreation. I think that has to kind of wait until. Um, Wait until the theme maker toolkit's out, um, just so I can get some more of those, uh, more of the pieces you need, the headhunters, some of the different animals and stuff. So, um, definitely, like I said, we're we're going implied on uh, on Jungle Cruise, but still pretty cool that we've got the the main little area of it filled out. Um, here on Main Street, a lot of you guys were asking if I was going to do any backstage, so started a little bit of backstage on that side. Um, haven't touched the castle really any lately, so we'll still work on bulking that up, and especially like once you're over here in Frontierland, um, if you're making your way down through here looking at the castle, kind of skinny, really, really skinny from this side. So just, you know, a lot of things, a lot of things on our plate right now, a lot of things we got to get figured out, but uh, like I said, really, really pleased with how the, uh, how the Splash Mountain whole little facade and, uh, and all of that has turned out over there. And, you know, just such a big staple in Frontierland. I um, was really happy to get that in. Um, as far as Pirates of the Caribbean goes, awesome, awesome how this si how the main sign come out and the, uh, and the main little Fast Pass standby areas, even though it's all implied. Um, the whole little area just came out really cool. Wanted to do a Tortuga Tavern. Um, but just, I just kind of run out of space over here and didn't want to jam it in. So I brought in one of my older, um, taller facades that I think matches the chief beef really well. And, um, kind of like ties off that end before, uh, 
before you make your way into Frontierland. Was thinking about doing a little Morocco area over here, but and I know a lot, and you know we've left it open even back here for future expansion. But I've got to rem you got to remember the train has to come through here. Um, a lot of you guys are saying, man, you know you can go into the scenario editor and bust out these map. Uh, these um, these ma these perimeters and give you a little more room, but kind of um, constricting myself to that side of the map, I think has really helped this build, and it's kind of forced me to, uh, you know, forced me just to figure out different options and uh, and and a, and a whole different layout over here. So, anyways, like I said, guys, I'm really really excited how this is going. Um, it's going to be really fun to get in here and start doing the. Uh, the Liberty Square layout and the whole front of this park um, is absolutely going to start taking shape and uh, and like I said I am uh, I am having a blast building this and uh, and you know just kind of shooting around into Google Maps and and down to street level and kind of just just putting all this together um, has been really really fun kind of mixing in my stuff with their stuff and and you know that uh, that Disney charm. So, anyways, guys, like always, I'll leave you. Let let's start a conversation down below in the comments section on your thoughts on Frontierland and how all of that's uh, how all of that's fleshing out, and of course your ideas on kind of like maybe me starting a custom Big Thunder Mountain, and of course we'll start on Tom Sawyer Island, and we will get all of that going but um anyways guys yeah like i said let me know your thoughts down below i'm s dan wolf thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me and i will catch you in the next video thank you see you guys